What is up everybody? Welcome back to another challenge video. And today we are playing with three MVP discs. Well, actually, if you want to get technical with it, one Axiom disc and two MVP discs. Uh, we're playing with, I'm putting with the glitch. Um, I know the Crave isn't really, uh, technically it's a fairway driver, but I'm using it as a mid today. And obviously the new Fission time lapse. So if you want to win the Fission time lapse, get on over to my Patreon. I will be doing it for next month. The end of next month, uh, you can join for as little as a dollar and that'll get you one entry. There are other tiers to my Patreon and that'll get you more entries and more benefits. So let's do it. We're at Union today. All right, you've seen me play Union before. If you haven't, you know, it's a pretty cool course. If you haven't seen any of my other time-lapse videos, I did a how to throw on it. I've done only time-lapse off the tee. Uh, I think that was my last video. Uh, so you can go watch that one. I did that one with my dad. I've never done a how to throw with the Crave. I should probably do that soon. But here we go. This place, 6,000, a little over 6,000 feet, par 60. The goal today is to shoot under par. I always thought this hole was 315. It says 304. We got a little bit of tailwind, so I think that's going to help us. Oh, right into the tree, dude. I was trying to get around that tree. I don't know how my putting is going to be today with the glitch. <laughs> it's not my main putter, but that's why this is a challenge video. It's not supposed to be easy. It's probably smart to lay up. I mean, this is a glitch. This thing will go forever. I think I can get it, at least get it, give it a chance to go in. No, that's just a little pitch up. That'll be fine. Very soon though, I will be getting an MVP bag and I have a whole bunch of MVP discs that I'm buying. So expect a lot more how to throw videos and a lot more challenge videos for MVP disc. All right, just a tap in. Nothing crazy. All right, hole two, 285. Um, it's just dead straight up this hill a little bit. Go with the time lapse again. That's down there. I hope it don't skip into the parking lot of the bank because there's a lot of people over there. All right, I actually put this. In putting range, not confident with the glitch. Ah, that was kind of an easy birdie. We got plenty of more of those coming up. My best round out here was 10 under. All right, I'm gonna go with the Crave on this one because this one's kind of downhill and it's only 270. And I don't just want to throw the time lapse off the tee on every one of them. I will most of them, but not every one of them needs it, so. We're going to go with the Crave this time. Oh, that better get down. I think that's past the road. Yeah, we're way down there. I cooked it. I thought it needed a little more to get it going. I, I really, that's really like my second or third time throwing that disc. After fixing my form, my power is just kind of crazy. So I'm trying to figure out how to still do my form but not throw it too short try all all the time which has never been a problem for me but now it kind of is that wasn't bad at all i went a little bit long oh my god i don't like putting with the glitch dude probably had a birdie look and I'm, whatever even through three i'm just trying to shoot even if i can do that i'll be happy today so i guess we're on track all right, hole four, 360 feet. This looks familiar. This is where I usually do all my how to throw videos. The wind's gonna make me have to throw it out that way to crash back in. So I'm always trying to turn it over and throw it towards the basket and then it never works out for me. So, uh, yep, I'm gonna pump it way out. I try to go around that tree, but I know it's not going to and hopefully it crashes back in towards the basket. Okay, I, I think that's good. It went over the little hill, I know there's a tiny bit of a hill over there. 
and it just kind of vanished. So that's good. That's over 300. When I did my how to throw video on it, if you haven't seen it, you can go, go check it out. I was throwing them and they were bombing, you know, getting full flights and they were only going 300 feet, which really made me mad because the first day I came out here, you know, it was windy and it flew so good. So really the fission time lapse is so good in the wind. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is circle one. Oh my God, why, why did I do that? The glitch doesn't feel good coming out of my hand. That was a good part because this, this hole can easily go sideways real quick. Hole five, 356 feet. Same about throwing the Crave. I think I'm gonna just gonna stick with the time lapse on this one. You just gotta make it through some trees. Pretty much throw it straight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hyzer flip it and up in here. I don't think I have enough room, so I'm gonna do kind of like a baby Anheuser and try to flex it through and get lucky. Wow, that is not the line that I was thinking, but that's down there. Oh no, I did not give myself an easy putt. Dude, I keep pulling it to the left. So stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, I think they changed that hole to a par four, which is understandable. That was a par, thank God. All right, hole six, 275. It's right down there, have the Mando right of the pole and I missed it and that's gonna get uh, a road rash all right well I'm definitely taking a bogey on this one I'm just gonna throw the time lapse I guess watch watch this one park it yeah it's down there screw it I won't count it I didn't I didn't get too off the off the top so really I had one mulligan. Let's just, we'll just say that. I'm the referee, this is my channel. You know, whatever. It's still not easy putt. Uh, I'm down here. Uh, this is not OB. Yep. Oh, I make the time lapse. No, I don't. This basket's all screwed up, like really bad. Somebody tried to wire it together and the chains are kind of tight. I'll take another par. Whatever, we're, we're still parring. We are on the par train. All right, hole seven, 293. This one's pretty simple. Uh, I usually park this one. It's uphill a little bit and then straight for like 250 feet. This is one of the easier ones. I plan on parking it. Get more height. Oh, that's down there. That's just way out of the way. That is not what I wanted. We're like 20 feet out. Not too bad. I would love to hit one good putt with the, the glitch. It's so light, like I can't, it's not like coming out of my hand with like any weight. Oh, so glidey, dude. All right, hole eight, 385 feet. You have this stupid tree in the way. I gotta bomb it around. It's not easy. That was going, dude. The stupid tree. I hate this tree. You can't really make it around this tree and get a good angle. During the winter, it's not as bad at all. But I have gotten pretty lucky with some tree hits with the time lapse, I will say. All right, I'm gonna try to go as high and as wide as I can with this next shot. Come on back, please. Come back. This is not going to be in. That was close though. Good run. All right, hole nine, 322. This is like, I wouldn't say the last birdieable hole in a minute, but kind of is. I'm going to force it over just a tiny bit. Let it come back in. Hopefully I don't throw it too far. Ooh, that's too far. Oh yeah, that's cooked. Oh, hey, the tree saved me. I got a putt. 
Go in. Oh my god. Putting with the glitch should be a challenge on its own. An ultra light glitch. All right, hole 10. 490 is an absolute bomb, dude. So I'm probably going to go two time lapse throws. That's out there. You want it more left because we're going way over there to the to the left anyway. So you can kind of cut this one off and then have a really good shot. If you just push it out straight like I just did, you're kind of just leaving yourself with a longer upshot. And also you want to miss whatever this thing is because it's in the fairway. I'm going with my Crave on the upshot. Literally nothing to hit. Oh, go in. That went right over. And that's not an easy putt. Okay, well, I gave myself no chance at a birdie. Yeah. I gotta put my hair up. Holy crap, it is so hot. Well, the only times you will see me wear a hat front ways with my hair up like this I look completely different dude so if I like rob some some place and I uh, and I need to disguise real quick I can do it <laughs> I feel like I look dumb whatever uh, see I posted a video or a picture on Facebook of me wearing a hat and I have my hair down and it was like front ways and everybody was laughing at me. I'm not a hat guy. Best thing to do is stay hydrated and stay comfortable. Because this feels a whole lot better. I have to have glasses on. Uh, my eyes are extremely sensitive to light and stuff. So if it's sunny, even during the winter, if it snows and like the ground is just bright, I have to wear sunglasses. Hole 11, very uphill. We're, we're even through 11, dude. We're going to try to get the birdie here. Oh, yeah, hole 11 is 515 par 4. Uh, it's a doable. It's a doable hole, though. That's what she said. <laughs> the basket's way up there. Uh, I need that to come back. Okay, not bad. I would have been playing in a tournament today, but I didn't get to go play it. So I came out here to do this video. I hit 500 subscribers and we're doing it, dude. I'm pushing, I'm going for it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go subscribe, please. I kind of have to forehand because there's a highway right there. And um, I have put a disc out there. It was my turn, my champion turn. So I really think the best thing to do here is so forehand. Oh, I didn't leave it out far enough. That's why I'm not confident with my forehands. Exactly what I wanted to do. The, the glitch finally did something that I wanted it to do. Wow. Imagine that. Three disc putt. Off to the next. This all is 229. I'm throwing my Crave. Um, it's a bit windy out there because the trees are kind of blocking the wind. So I'm just gonna throw it like I always throw it on this hole. Just leave it a little high, a little wide. I'm putting this on hyzer this time. I'm gonna try to get it there all the way on hyzer. If it flips up, it flips up. Okay, come back in. Oh God, I hope that's a putt. That's a really good throw. Oh yeah, dude. We are finally on the board at one under. Yes, finally on the board one under. There we go. Now we're shooting above our expectations. All right, hole 13, just right over 300 feet, but it's a bit uphill and a bit awkward. But we got some good wind and I think 
a big Anheuser turnover shot, really high, is going to do it for the time lapse. I'll hold that. Yes, dude. Oh my God, what a what a beautiful flight out of that. <laughs> I hope you guys can see that I've been working on my form. You don't need a fast run up. You just need a tiny bit of momentum and if your shots are not going far, especially if you're throwing drivers, um, you never really know how sensitive the angles are. If your drivers aren't doing what you want them to do, it could be a lot of things. No, not enough power or the angle's not right. You didn't throw with the wind. I was throwing against the wind that time and it stalled out. I thought I got a bit farther out here, but here there's no danger to run it besides just giving yourself a horrible, horrible putt. So I'm gonna give it like a nose up. It's like a little Frisbee toss. Let it go out there. That sucked. <laughs> the, the freaking tailwind came in. That's a that's a bogey. So my birdie I just made doesn't even matter. Hole 14 is probably one of the easiest par fours on the course. It's uh, 452, but. It's straight for about 300 feet and then downhill for the rest of the way. So if you can push between those two trees out there, you're good. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. All right, that's fine. That was a huge shot. Holy crap. Where did that come from? I don't usually get that kind of distance. Not really distance, I went. That went pretty far though. That I feel like my flights are feeling are looking a lot better. All right, we are about 75 feet from the basket. So that was a smash, dude. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little toss because this is still downhill. I got down there. Hey, there we go. There's a putt. That's how we do it. We are now one down again. Uh, maybe I could eagle this next one and be two down. Hole 15, 370, very downhill. Um, I don't think you can see the basket from where the camera is because the tree's kind of in the way, but I feel like the time lapse is a little much, but I am not comfortable enough with my Crave to throw it off the tee. Low Anheuser. Oh, it's coming back. That got no skip. That was a cool flight, though. Still got an eagle putt, though. It's doable. Go like a little fan grip. Oh, wow. That, no, no. All right. That's a par. Oh, go in. Ah, no. That was almost it, dude. Come on. All right, hole 16, 270. Throwing my crave on this one. Baskets up there by those trees. Oh, that's low. A lot of snap on that. Whole lot of snap. I threw it too quick. I just kind of lined up and just threw it. I wasn't really thinking. <laughs> Sorry, it's so hot today. Oh, come on. Watch, by hole 18, I'll be super comfortable throwing or putting with the glitch. All we need to do is par these next two and we're, we have shot one over. If I can birdie this one, that'd be great. 350, downhill. Left it a little bit too wide. But this one can get away from you quick because there's like a big like slanted hill. It's kind of a weird angle. And if you land on that angle, you are gonna be in trouble. I have a little bit of an angle. I can maybe throw 
like a hyzer putt or like a little upshot just to give it a chance. I feel like hyzer putts are like overpowered in disc golf because they work so well. Who else does hyzer putts? I'm sure everybody does. Oh, go in. Oh my God, dude, that hit. That was an inch, a freaking inch. Yo, I feel like if I got good with the glitch, this would be like a throw-in disc for me. Kind of like how my Sonic is. My Sonic ju is just like that. Except the Sonic feels wonky. You have to give it a little bit more power. But dude, that was almost in. Imagine if that went in. Oh my God. We're still parring though. That was, I kind of went with like a really hard throw off the tee. Um, just trusting that it does what I want it to do. And it did. Hole 18, 300 feet. Uh, I have a perfect, actually, I don't know if it's 300. Let me look. I have the perfect win for a Heiser Crave shot. It's 238. So not, not as far. So it's just a little, I'm just going to Heiser my Crave. Keep it high, see what happens. That's well, not very high. Oh, that's zooming, dude. That Crave can really get up. All right, let's end this with a birdie. This is like edge of circle. Almost. Eh, I was kind of expecting that one to be a birdie, but whatever. We shot one under, dude. That's perfectly fine with me. We parred everything, birdie two and bogeyed one. It is a par 60 and we did 59. Walk two miles. If you want to win the fission time lapse, this one right here, use it in three videos. Um, I'm probably not gonna use it again. Uh, it's not scuffed up really, uh, but it's used by me and me only. Uh, so if you wanna win a disc that I threw, I don't, I don't know what, it's not any significance, but if you want me to sign it, I will. Um, it's not marked with anything, so it's fresh. And um, if you want me to do another three disc full round challenge, let me know in the comments what you want me to do. Uh, doesn't have to be in the doesn't have to be MVP. Uh, it could be anything, um, just not Prodigy. <laughs> I'll do whatever three disc you want me to do, whether it's three putters, three drivers, you know, or uh, be nice and do a mix, a putter, a mid, and a driver. But let me know what you want me to do next for a three disc challenge. Whoever gets the most likes, so everyone can kind of vote, put your votes in the comments of this video and uh, go over to my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Uh, you can join for as little as a dollar. A dollar gets you one entry to win a free disc. And next month will be the time lapse. $5 for the second tier, which is two entries. And the $10, the ace tier, gets you three entries. So get on over there. Get your entries in, and uh, next month we'll do the drawing. So I'll catch you in the next one.